Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to show you how to do the closing bars effect. Okay, so what I've got here is I've got a soundtrack, a build up, and a like a boom sound, and then it fades out. So I've marked out where I want the actual closing bars to actually happen, so it's the thinnest, and then it's going to pop out open again, back to normal size. So I'm going to click it, I'm going to mark out where I want the shot. I'm gonna put the little marker thing over it. I'm gonna click event pattern crop so it looks like this. I'm gonna hold control and I'm gonna zoom in. So you can see my preview here, the bars are actually coming in now. So that's the closing bar. So you wanna go in as far as you want. I'm gonna use that there. Keep it as linear. You don't wanna change that, okay? If you do know how to change it, just keep it to linear. X out of that, and you want to go to the start of this one. Click event pan crop again, and you want to change this here to default. So at the start of the video, if it will actually, there we go. So at the start of the video, it won't automatically start closing the bars down. It will start from that bit there. <laughs> now you just want to click on the marker tool, and just find out where you want it. So as you can see, if we go back here and we do frame, as you can see now, it's starting to close and and then you, you hear the shot and there we go so once he's taken the shot is where I want it to pop out but there will do so click event pan crop and just change this here to default okay close it so you've got this um, let me just show you click here and go across nope what is wrong? Secure. So this is what we've got. Secure. Losing Okay, so you saw that. Now I'm gonna do a muzzle for the music that I'm gonna add in. So add in your music. I just wanna see how long this is going for. <laughs> Alright, let's look at the get music. So I'm using this K39 K39 key. K391 song. I don't have a clue what it's actually called, but yeah. So I'm gonna find a good place to use my music. Okay, so right here will be good. So I'm gonna take all this away. Gonna zoom back into where this shot actually happens. I actually want to add another one, so I'm just going to drag it down and drag it back up again just for a quick one. <laughs> to make it quicker. And drag that across, I'm just going to fade it in here. So when you play it. Okay, so I'm guessing. So wherever the video ends, I like going over by five frames. So it's one, two, three, four, five. And I like taking all this away and fading it into there. So now I want to do the muzzle. So as we've added that other audio track, you want to click this little green rectangle with the two circles, which is the track FX. And now once you're here, you want to drag this one over the three. Just about, I don't know, there ish. About the hundred mark over here, so let's, well, a thousand, I mean, so let's change that to a thousand. Okay, so now you want to drag this two all the way down in the bottom corner. You want to put this three still in the middle, but over the eighty. So it will look some, I like putting it down just a tiny inch bit there, so you get this dip in it. And you want to put this four all the way down in the hundred and sixty. I like having this perfect, I don't know why. Okay, so once you've got that, you take it out. So that's in the bottom, so wherever went, so I want the shot happens here and I want it to end about here, okay? So I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna split, make sure you split in the audio track here, and you wanna just split it somewhere, so I'm gonna split it up here. And then you'll click it, you wanna hit control and go down, 
So you want to hit control and click and drag down so it'll duplicate this. Okay? So now I like I like to hit control just in case anything bad happens. So now I can just make this forward a tiny bit and fade it back in and fade it back out. So when you play you got something like this. It's like a deeper version of the song. I don't know if you can hear this, but I like to listen to it as well. <laughs> so I wanted to know so add I want to add a color correction. So I'm gonna click here, right click, media effects, and I've got magic bullet looks. So I'm gonna click add okay. So let me just quickly add one. So there we go. I'm gonna put this clip at the end of the video and I'll see you guys in a second.